In this use case, we are going to use the Google Earth Engine to calculate the standardized vegetation index for drought monitoring in the southern part of Madagascar. We will do this by using the enhanced vegetation index data coming from the MODIS sensor. This script is based on the script provided by UN Spider, but we applied some minor changes to it. I will go through the setup process of the script and briefly describe some of its basic functions. If you just want to try out the script, you could also run the demo and remove these two slash symbols in front of the geometry AOI variable. However, we want to set up our own area of interest and we can do this by either selecting the polygon tool or the rectangle tool. Once you're finished with drawing your geometry, you go to its settings, change its name to AOI and change its type to feature collection. You can also upload your own shapefile if you have one on your computer. You can do this by uploading it to your assets and then importing it to the script. But remember to also rename it to AOI. Next, you might want to apply some changes to the time frame. The first time frame is about the data which is considered in the background of the calculation. You can do some changes here and apply your own dates between these two brackets, but this will shorten the period of considered data and make the SVI less stable. If you leave it like it is, the script will consider the whole data period of MODIS for the calculation of the SVI. The second time frame specifies the dates for which the results are displayed. As the calculation of the SVI is computationally strenuous, it is not possible to display the results of the whole period of MODIS data. However, how long the data period can be depends on the size of your AOI and the selected resolution. I will plot the data from June 2019 until the latest image available. Depending on the size of your AOI, you might also want to change the processing resolution. The resolution will affect the resolution of all exported images, as well as the calculation process of the charts which are plotted. However, it will not affect the images displayed in the Google Earth Engine, as they are dependent on the zoom level that you are on in your map. I will stick with a resolution of 500 meters for this example. An interactive chart which plots the SVI history of a requested location can be activated or deactivated by setting its variable to true or false. After all settings are done, you might already want to start the script by clicking on the run button. The script will take about 15 to 20 minutes until the first results are displayed. So don't close or refresh your browser in the meantime. I will not click on the run button yet, as I still want to show you some of the basic function in the script. In the first part, the EVI images get masked based on their quality band that comes with the MODIS data. Cloudy pixels or pixels with snow or a high aerosol cover are removed from the images. This function is then applied to the EVI image collection, combined with a different function that clips the images to our AOI. To calculate the SVI, we have to calculate the z-scores of the EVI, for which again we need information about the mean and the standard deviation of the data. The mean and the standard deviation are calculated over all images in the timeline with corresponding day of years. Meaning for example that the mean and standard deviation of the EVI captured on the 1st of January 2021 is calculated based on all EVI images captured on the 1st of January of all years. We can see this in this part of the script. Thereafter, the z-scores are calculated by subtracting the calculated mean from the EVI value and dividing it by the standard deviation. Then the SVI is calculated, which is the probability of occurrence. So let's start the script and click on the Run button. After all calculations are done, a chart will be added to your console plotting the SVI values over time. 
Looking at the SVI chart, you can see that the selected region in southern Madagascar is currently facing below average vegetation conditions since last year, with average values reaching down to below 0 0.1. Each value in the chart represents the average value of all pixels in the AOI for that date. If you need more precise information about the SVI history, you can also use the inspector chart. To do so, click on any location within your AOI. You can also use the inspector to get even more information. By default, the latest image available is visualized on the map. We can get some more information about this image by checking the layers menu. This image was captured between the 28th of July 2021, which is the 209th day of the year, and the 13th of August 2021, which is the 225th day of the year. We can also visualize a different date by selecting a different date from the select menu. So let's visualize the same date from two years ago. While this takes a minute to render, let's go back to the console and add a legend to our map. To export the results, go to the Tasks tab. Here you will find all images that you can export to your Drive account. If you don't want to export each image one by one, you can have a look on the link that we provided in the console. 